What's up, guys? Welcome to day 95. Oh, almost there. Almost 100. Day 95 of Fusion. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our planetary gear system we made earlier and turn it into a compound planetary gear that should be printable. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some edits before. And so things are going to look a little bit different than this final product here. Uh, we're going to make some edits. That way it is a 3D printable part. So we're going to pull that design up. We should have a working, you know, planetary gear system. This should be working as expected. Let me, there we go. Things looking okay. All right. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this center peg. And so I'm going to go in all the way and cut that out. So my sun gear is actually a true gear without any pegs sticking out of it. And then I'll hit E for extrude. And we're just going to pull this one, this peg out another half inch. Now, since my sun gear is an inch in thickness, this right here, so let's hit I for inspect, that the length of this rod right here is uh, an inch and a half. Should be at least. Let's do this again. Let's do inspect. There we go. An inch and a half. And so when we stack these, there's going to be a little bit of a gap in between them. And I want that because when I 3D print this and assemble it, I want those pieces to be able to be seen. Or the internals once they're stacked on there. So that looks okay. The only other thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that these gears don't fall out. And so in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our ring and we're going to add to it. So I'm going to put a sketch on my ring. Let's do that. And we're going to create a circle that is a little bit smaller than the teeth of my uh, my gears. And another one that is the size of the ring. Hit finish sketch. And I'm actually going to make all these pieces except for my ring disappear. That way, actually, let's make everything disappear. We're going to go ahead and hit E for extrude. And we're going to pick these two profiles. There you go. Oh, it's got to think. It's thinking real hard. There we go. And let's do a thickness of a bench. Okay. Now, let's bring our ring gear back in and create a join out of it. Now, what's going to do is it's going to create the inside lip for those planet gears to sit on. Hopefully, uh, when we print this, it's going to help prevent uh, my gears from slipping out um, when uh, our final product's there. All right, so let's bring everything back in. Is everything doing as expected? And everything looks okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now is, let's start a new design, and let's save this. Let's go ahead and call this uh, Planet Gearbox, a PG box. And then I'm going to pull in three copies of that planetary gear that we already had. So there's one, but that's not updated. Let's go back here. Let's save this. And we go back over here, it's going to say, hey, there's a big, there's an update. So we click on that uh, indicator icon, and it'll update for me. Everything looks good. But we're going to pull in two other copies of it. We're going to pull this back just a hair. We want it to be with these stacked on and already inserted in place. Now, I know the thickness of my gear is one inch. So I'm going to go to the edge of this peg and come in one inch further. And that looks okay. Go and bring in a third copy. Go to the ed edge of this. Bring it in one inch. Click OK. And that's looking all right. Now these should already still be uh, moving as expected, but I'm not going to waste time to test that. But if you want to, you can double check. And just make sure that if you click on any of these parts and drag them, well, after we ground it, we got to ground something. Let's 
I'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. Things still move as expected. All right. Now, here's where the, uh, the interesting part comes from. What I want to do is I'm going to right click and break the link between this part and this design. That way, if I make any edits to this, that it will not affect this original design. Break the link of all three of those copies. It's going to have to think for a little bit because what it's going to do is it's instead of pulling in a copy of that actual part, it actually remakes the whole thing. So if you see a little bit of loading screen down here, is because it has to actually recreate that part for you. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the third, one, third planetary gear system, make it disappear. And to make this a little bit easier for me, uh, you can try to combine bodies and making it as one solid part. However, when you do that, your joints will disappear because you're going to be taking two bodies or two components, making it one component. And that's the problem is that uh, your joints are in relation to two separate bodies. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do extra work for us. So instead, what we can do is we can do a motion link between the arm, oh, the sun of one gear, to the arm of the other. So it is going to do some funky stuff. That's okay. This is a preview. It's going to go off into the, <laughs> off into the unknown. That's okay. Uh, because I didn't grind, ground my second gear yet. And so if we go here now and we animate any of these joints, animating these models, there you go. It's already done. All right. Boom. Don't have to do anything else. Everything's looking great. We're going to do the same thing now for the third one. So I'm going to make the first one disappear, make the third one reappear, just so that everything's nice and good. We're going to go down to, we're going to do a motion link between the arm, oh, up on the wrong one. Make sure I'm the right one. Make the first one disappear again. There we go. Between the arm of the second planetary gear and the sun of the third one. Now it's going to do that weird funky thing, and that's okay because I didn't ground my pieces. But if we go back here and we find our ring gear, right click and ground it, and I bring all these pieces up. If I animate any of these models or any of these joints, the whole thing should model as expected. Okay, so technically we're almost done here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on, and you're welcome to stick around with me, and make some more edits so that way it's 3D printable with a handle involved. So let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit E for extrude, and we're going to see if we can get away with... We're going to get away with it. I might have to do another sketch. Yeah, we're going to have to do another sketch. So let's do a sketch on this face. And while we're here, let's go ahead and make it the sketch for all of our necessary components for the handle. So let's do one point. Let's do a one inch, 1.5. Let's do 1.5 inch base for the handle. And let's do a one inch base. So let's go one inch base for the handle. Let's draw some lines to connect these two circles together to make one of our classic handle shapes. I'm going to throw in some tangent mates so that way everything plays nice and neat and everything looks clean. And we're going to do one more. Let's do a half inch. Finish that sketch. Okay. I'll make that disappear. I'll make all these disappear actually except for, actually, let's see if we can get away with it. Hit E for extrude. We're going to go back one inch. That's going to be a join. Looks okay. Let's bring that sketch back on it. Let's hit E for extrude. Let's bring that handle out.
half inch looks good. Make sure it's still joined. And then we're extrude this part of the handle out another inch. Let's do an inch and a half. And so the cut is going to be a join. Everything looks good. If I bring all my planetary gears in and I hit right click and animate model, just to make sure everything still works as expected. Boom. Same magnifique. The only thing we need to do now is build a base plate for all these to go on to. So we're going to escape. And let's bring in our origin planes, actually. We haven't done those in a while. So there's our origin planes right there. I'm going to go to this bottom one and do an offset plane to some distance below our three gears. And then we're going to do a sketch on that plane. Hit P for project. We're actually going to project these three profiles onto here. Click OK. And let's draw a line connecting all these together. T for trim. So that way we have a rectangle that perfectly matches the curvature of our three gears. I'm going to do a rectangle. Ooh, that looks a little big. You know what? Let's do... Can we do that? That looks a little bit better. Hit finish sketch. And everything's looking all right. I'm going to E for extrude. Now you're going to notice I'm going to do something a little bit different, and that helps prevent my joints from disappearing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to extrude this profile up to this gear body. And we're going to do adjacent to faces. Everything looks good. It's going to be a joint. We're going to bring that sketch back in and do the same thing for the other body. To object, that's going to be our object. Everything looks good. And one last time, we're going to bring this profile up to this object. Everything looks good. Now here's where I'm going to advise to not do a join is because once we make our base plate here, and if we want to go down with it, if we did a join, it would connect these three ring gear bodies together. And what I don't know, actually, no, let's just try it. Let's see. Worst case scenario, i got to restart the video anyways. What happens if we did a join? And now this, these ring bodies are actually all one body. Does it mess up? No, and I just thought it would. Wow. There we go. We have one ring body. Everything looks good. I might have to throw some spacers in here. And I'm probably going to throw another face plate on this edge. That way it's fully encapsulated once it's fully assembled. All right. There you go, guys. We made a planetary gearbox with a handle. And it looks great. You guys are great. We got 96, 97, 98, 99. We got five more videos. Five more videos, and we're done with the 100 Days of Fusion series. Uh, I'm going to end off on hopefully a really fun note, uh, but we're going to get there when we get there. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Feel free, if you ever need help, to reach out. I would love to help out.